of all, what is a virtual assistant? It's someone who helps an online business manage their everyday tasks. It's just like a personal assistant. A personal assistant helps a business owner manage their tasks, but you're just doing it online instead of offline. So that's the big difference here and why it's called virtual assistant and not personal assistant. Four things that you need to do if you are ready to get started as a virtual assistant. First, choose your services. What are you going to offer to small business owners? What do you already know how to do? Number two, you need to set your price. You can choose hourly rates or you can do packages, but either way, it's good to know what your hourly rate is. Even if it's gonna be in a package later, you need to know how much time something's going to take you and how much you should charge for that. Step number three is you need to set up the back end of your business. Now there's a lot of steps when it comes to legalities, getting your EIN number, things like that. And step number four, you start offering your services. I recommend starting out with your friends and family members who are already small business owners or who maybe know a small business owner. Reach out to them, tell them about your services and see if you can start working for them even just a couple hours a week to get your feet wet. To be a successful virtual assistant, you need to know how to manage and communicate with your clients effectively. One, excellent communication skills. Communication skills for a VA are a must. Not only do you need to know how to speak or email or text or PM your client, but it's also very likely you'll need to communicate regularly with their customers or other team members as well. Conveying your message professionally, concisely, and kindly while using proper grammar and spelling is a reasonable expectation for any VA. Two, walk the walk, follow through, integrity, do you do what you say you're going to do when you say you're going to do it? Are you reliable and hardworking? If so, you'll make a great VA. Managing your time effectively as a virtual assistant is incredibly important because you'll likely be managing multiple things for multiple people at any given time. So get your systems in place to manage your workflow and calendar and make sure you've integrated with your client systems as well so that you always follow through and exceed expectation. Three is put a bow on it. What do I mean by this? Don't just do the minimum work that you can get away with. Clients go crazy for VAs who go above and beyond. And it really doesn't have to involve a lot of extra effort on your part. Four, have a figure it out mentality. You don't have to know it all because quite frankly, nobody can. But if you're going to be a successful virtual assistant, you do need to be resourceful. Now you're gonna get asked to do a lot of things, most of which you maybe have never done before. It's literally your job to go figure it out and be solutions driven. Five, be proactive. What do I mean by this? I mean, point out and seize new opportunities. I mean, as a virtual assistant, don't wait to be asked to do something when you know that it needs to be done. I want you to be confident that your client needs you. It's why they hired you in the first place. So make sure that you are providing the value that you know that you can do and always be proactive.